Okay, on some previous testing I did with this torch, I found out that no matter what tip size I have on this little thing, you can't really exceed a flow rate of two, maybe three liters per minute. I'm not sure of that exact figure, it may be even less than that. So I ended up having to hook up one of these old jump torches, and I'm about to show you what that does. It's a significantly bigger flame than the footage I had before. And also, even though I'm not into efficiency, I did an MMW test on this thing on an earlier video. And come to find out it's wrong. Um, I didn't do a voltage test on the DC output. The diodes I'm using are 400 volt diodes, so there's a significant voltage drop due to that. Before, I couldn't get the torch to melt this bar. I'm going to do this with just HHO only. That's at 1,543 watts, about 13 amps. There you can see it's a lot bigger than the other videos. That's just HHO. Anyway, this is the shot. There goes the power. I got a whole lousy 1800 watts going into this room. So when it warms up and I got a garage. I was just starting to cut through that. Before I couldn't get this torch to touch heavy gauge metal like that. So and that was at zero pressure. I don't have a gas splicer for this. So I can't do this size torch with propane or map gas. But as you can see, it's producing some serious gas. And it's going nuts. This is the iron plate cell going still. It's got a little bit of rust in there from when it's sitting around doing nothing. Other than that, that water is still pretty clear. Um, too bad that MMW test I did was wrong. Turns out it's a lot higher than 3 because I didn't use the DC voltage, which is like 91 volts. I don't know what the liters per minute is of this is. But... With thermocouple on the cell is at 91 Celsius and... I got 87 degrees on the radiator. Room temperature is like 69. Mm. It's nothing with these goggles. And again, with the old whole 1800 watt thing. Damn it. Alright. Enough of that bullshit. Apparently we'll do high output testing in summertime. In the garage. You can see the kind of gassy, vapory looking stuff in the reservoir there. That, um... Copper, um, or brass airstone I have down there. Pretty much washes all that out, all that lye. You can see that there ain't none of that vapor in there, but if you look in the reservoir, it's pretty loaded. That's um, a brass air filter, basically, that I'm using in like an air stone down there. I had a flashback. Not off LSD or nothing. It was the HHO blowing up, and it pretty much blew the shit out of my baffle. And um, 
blew the bottom out of that. I had to screw that thing down. I had to blew that off of there. One thing about flashbacks on these things is that the air bubbles in the bubbler act as shock absorbers. So I don't even need like bronze or brass wool or anything. This whole chamber went off. And I could barely hear it. It was just kind of like a. So anyway.